to begin drawing AME7 by drawing the profile of the side view in the right viewport. Next we want to extrude the polyline drawn in the side view by a distance of 3 inches. Next let's switch to the 3D viewport and make it the active viewport. And then let's zoom in a little bit so we can see this thing a little more clearer. Before we draw the cylinder through this object, let's first check our object snap settings. So at the bottom of the screen, right click on O snap and choose settings. And we want everything off except the midpoint. So we could clear all and then just come back and pick midpoint. We want, we want to make sure our object snap, snap is on and our object, object snap tracking is also on. So click to make sure those options are both checked. Now let's click OK and let's choose the cylinder command. And let's hover over the front top edge of this object that we extruded and then come down for a distance of 7 eighths. So I'm watching my coordinate display to I see 7 eighths. And then I'm going to drag my cylinder out for a radius of 7 sixteenths. Uh, my snap may not be set on a sixteenth increment, so I'm just going to type in the 7 sixteenths radius. And then we want to drag this cylinder so it goes all the way through. I'm going to drag it so that it goes more than all the way through. Next we want to draw a box that connects to this cylinder. First I'm going to suggest you zoom in a little bit and I'm also going to suggest you change the uh, shading style of this viewport uh, to 2D wireframe. So up under view yours may say current or some other style but we want to change that to 2D wireframe. Now we want to use the box command and with the box command I'm going to use a snap override of the quadrant snap. I'm going to snap to, this, to the left quadrant of the cylinder on the front surface. Then I'm going to come over 7 eighths and my midpoint snap is still on. I'm going to hit F3 to turn off my object snap but I'm making sure I'm lined up with the other side quadrant of the cylinder and drag this up until, I'll, until I'm aligned with the top edge of the object and then I can drag this through so that it goes at least all the way through maybe even, even a little bit more. The final step is to subtract the box and the cylinder from the extruded uh, part. So I'm going to use the subtract command. I'm going to choose the extruded part first and then I'll choose the box and the cylinder by clicking on them and then hit enter and we should see this thing looks like it should. You can change the uh, view back, the visual style. How about a nice conceptual, conceptual visual style?